Okay, so real quick, let's get into this, Brig, because we talked small ball last time. Let's talk yeah. a little bit about Aaron Judge, because despite the Yankees, as a, on the whole, playing small ball, Aaron Judge has been hitting dingers more than just about anybody. Actually, more than anybody. More than anybody. Straight anybody up. Is. He leads the league, yeah. Straight up. Do you think he could break Roger Maris's record? He's on pace. Yeah. Yeah, he could. Will he? Yeah, he absolutely could. Will he? I don't know. That's a different question. Do I want him to? That's an even different question. <laughs> that is a nuanced question. Why don't you it explain is. the nuance to nuanced answer to that one, Brig? You want me to get into it? Do it because I think okay. it's really interesting. Well, I appreciate it. So here's the deal. Um I hmm, how do I say this? Well, we, the royal we, love Aaron Judge entirely. I mean, we modified right field, the bleachers in right field to be the judges' chambers. I th- I genuinely believe if he's going to be a Yankee for the remainder of his career, then he will be the next captain for sure. And to be assigned the nickname or the title captain in the Yankees organization does not happen very often. I'm thinking Derek Jeter, Thurman Munson, they're like that level of player, Okay. So for him to attain that status is a huge deal, and they're not going to give it to him until or unless he signs a long-term deal and he finishes his career out in pinstripes. That being said, if he is going to stay Yankee for the rest of his career, I want him to break Roger Maris's record this year. If I did, if I knew he was going to be a Yankee forever, then I would I would be praying that he breaks it. But if I thought there was any chance at all he was not going to be in pinstripes for the rest of his career and have his number retired in pinstripes, then I do not want him breaking that record. And I think that's really think, I don't know. That's it's so selfish. But I'm a Yankees fan, so get off my jock. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a question for you as far as like Yankee lore goes and like tradition. Are they done contributing to Monument Park? No. Oh, so, Monument Park? Yes. Okay. Monument Park, I think, is closed. That's That was my question. Was Yes. Is Monument Park closed? And if not, if it wasn't, would they have put, would Judge be one of those guys uh, that if, if he was a Yankee for the rest of his career, they would put there? Only if, if other things, ha- other things would have to happen. Like, repeated world series championships yeah i think that has to be that's the big one right like anything shy of that and it's a no-go i think he can get he can so okay first step signs a long-term deal finish his career in pinstripes yankee forever number two he's the next captain any you know Mm -hmm. everything that comes with that number three Jersey retired is a no brainer at that point. But if they win repeated World Series championships, and I, I, I'm not saying one after the other after the other, but if during his career in the in the Yankees organization, if they win two, three, four, even if they win four, then there is a chance. There is a small chance that Monument Park gets opened up for him. Small. That'd be something else. Small chance. Right. But we're going to need like four. Yeah. Yeah. And I get that. And I think that part of that is there's going to have to be some changes though, right? In order for him to get there. Multiple World Series. Yeah. One of them might be Aaron Boone. But I don't maybe, know. because maybe. What he's doing right now though would indicate there's no problem. Yeah. So, so what do you do? How do you compare last year to this year? Other well, than the year before that. Coaching, personnel, like on-field personnel, backseat, behind-the-scenes coaching. Like what else has changed? I don't know. The style? Maybe Aaron, yeah, Ju- or maybe. maybe Aaron Boone has been pushing for small ball, fundamental baseball, you know, all that. For, maybe that's the whole time. And, and he's like, I can't. I can't do anything with what I got. So give me the yeah. team I need to make that happen. I don't know. That, 
That could be it. It could be that he went to Cashman and said, "Hey, this is what needs to happen. This is my this is the style I think we could win with." And he yeah. made the moves necessary. That could be it. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Hmm. It's fascinating. Um I mean, Jason just said we've been talking about for three years now on the show. Small ball wins games. Small ball wins World Series along with pitching. If yeah. you can get, if you can get timely hitting with small ball and great pitching, you're going to win. You're yeah. going to win a World Series. That's what it 100%. takes. Hundred um, percent. Your Julio Rodriguez is stepping to the plate right now. But before yeah, I do, um, I have to comment. Jason D'Agostino and I are on the same page. We're both blown away <laughs> that Brad is shaved. For those of you that don't watch the show. And you listen, Brad had a four foot beard going into this morning, and it has totally changed <laughs> m- both my view of him and, and literally everybody view. watching on YouTube. <laughs> He's a totally different personality. I told, uh, I gave him some guff about it. Jason responded with hashtag friends don't let friends shave. And I think that is absolutely timely as we let Julio Rodriguez step into the box. <laughs> I, I think, Brig, I think I shaved off. About eight inches. You did. That's why I called it four feet because it's the same thing. It might as well be. Baseball family, if you're listening and you're commenting, we're really glad you're here. Very excited. Thanks, Linda. Linda Kernow is his mom. She's watching. She's coming to visit, and that's she's coming to visit. visit. Okay, okay, Linda, you win. (laughs) That's no. I'll give you credit. I'll tell you what happened. I did. I looked at I looked at my wife yesterday and I just went a little scissor across. I think it's time. She said, what? <laughs> I think it's time. And I did. I cut it down to an inch. It was longer than this. I cut it down to an inch still using my clippers. And then I was kind of cleaning it up. And then like <laughs> I got a chill as I had the clipper next to my face. And yeah. it went right in. I was like, well, that's not good. <laughs> so I wow. had to cut off an extra <laughs> half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so it is down to half an inch at this point so that's from amazing. a solid eight to nine 